Yesterday was freaking crazy in the middle of the night. We had a Power Ranger trailer drop for once and always. It was awesome. We covered it as soon as we could, but today we wanted to hear from the fans, talk about some fan theories. We got a couple special guests. Let's get into it. Hit that intro. I can't do this on my own, because you know things ain't always sweet. All right, I'm Celis from the Infamous Ghost Podcast, and we about to react to Mighty Morphin Power Rangers once and always. Let's get it. That sound like the original Rita. That's crazy. They got the OG suits. That's crazy. They brought the original Rita back. Is that Aisha? Look at Billy and Zach. These graphics are amazing. Look at Alpha Five. That sound like their original voice. Wow, they brought they brought back the old characters. This is crazy. They hitting on that nostalgia bone. Wow, these fight scenes look good too. Thirty years. That's crazy. I cannot wait to see this. I'm so excited. Netflix. I cannot wait. Yeah, y'all got one with this one. I cannot wait to see this. It's good to see Zach in that leader role. I will definitely be checking that out when it come out. Thirty years in the making. Once always, we talking Billy, Zach, original Rangers. If you know, you know. Robot, Rita, Alfred, this gonna be one of those. Tell them, Ace, that is going to be one of those. I am so excited. Shout out to Celis and Prince Ace, the glass man. You guys are amazing for sending me in your fan reactions. And today, it is all about you guys. I wanted to talk a little bit more about the trailer since i had a night to sit on it it is so freaking awesome man i love robo rita i love that she is hunting the rangers we do find out that she does kill trini kwan and she uses the k-word in this she says kill i'm going to go back into the past and kill you guys before you get the ranger powers there's also something else that really stands out to me is min kwan says something to billy and zach and says she killed mom she doesn't say she killed my mom is billy or zach trini's husband or min's parent very interesting this thing it was just nuts i am so excited it looks like they're trying to bring zordon back rita's also trying to stop that the command center was crazy seeing rocky and cat teleport into the command center was nuts we also see that rocky came on in with like a firefighter uniform um the leaks a few months ago and they're talking about the manator and snizzard coming back these are like upgraded costumes but it still kind of looks like those characters from the 90s this Mighty Morphin reunion is going to be insane. We do see Adam and Aisha in the trailer, but we don't know how much they are going to be in the show, but we know that they make an appearance. It sounds like the show is going to center around Min, Zach, Billy, and then they will call on for the help of Kat and Rocky. There's a lot of stuff going on. That juice bar scene where they're kicking the putty's butt and the juice bar looks awesome. These fight scenes especially the ones in the city look freaking crazy and the thing that stole the show that got everybody screaming up and down was that megazord this thing was awesome i can't wait will we get a second trailer for it maybe a week or two before even if this is it i'm excited this is enough to get the fans going now today like i said is all about you guys i wanted to take some of your thoughts and fan theories and what you're thinking and put it into a video so let's see what the fans are saying joseph said i saw the trailer for once and always and it looks awesome you guys see how power rangers can look if hasbro really puts their money into it to make it look like that and awesome looking and serious i 100 percent agree joseph when they put their mind to it and their resources they can kick out some really cool stuff anonymous fan said probably the most intense power ranger trailer i've ever seen as much as i don't want trini's character to die i know in a way that they are doing this to honor twee 
but still this is very intense of having a character killed off for good for the first time I know her daughter Min would want to take her place, but the others say no at first because they know that she is seeking revenge and that's not what Power Rangers are about. Later in the episode, it seems like she must realize that revenge and justice are two different things and that Trini would want her daughter to avenge her without losing herself, which makes the others deem her worthy of being a ranger. That's just my theory, but it would make for a great story and I'm super excited for this special anonymous great job i loved that fan theory cot cr said i hope when catherine boards the pterodactyl dinosaur to pilot we get the wow nice stereo line kimberly said when she first piloted it in the original episode of mighty morphin power rangers that'd be an awesome callback and it would also make sense because she was equally impressive as it would be her first time piloting that zord then we can officially log Pterodactyl as having the best sound system of any Zord in Power Rangers history. Oh my god, that is hilarious. What if she did say it or she said like, wow, Kim was right. This does have a nice stereo or something. That's funny, Katsiar. I like that. Cosmic Tron said, judging from the clips, I have to say that I am definitely hyped for this Robo Rita. She looks awesome. The Zords are back. We're going back to Angel Grove and Ernie's juice bar looks great. Good times in that juice bar. It would be great if Bulk and Skull were able to make a cameo in this and they would be the MVPs. Oh man, I agree. I don't know if we're getting Bulk and Skull, but that would be crazy. Kevin said the command center, the Zords, and of course how Robo Rita looks just thrilled me. I am even more pumped up now and I cannot wait. See, I was saying we just need a trailer to reignite that juice in the fans and there are a lot of people that have not watched Power Rangers in a long time that are looking forward to this. Hasbro knew what they were doing with the special. It's basically like a two episode or like one episode extended version of a Mighty Morphin episode. We have a lot better technology and the actors have gotten a lot better over time, right? You're only gonna get better through the years. It just seems like a really good project and I'm so hyped and geeked about it. New Jack said, I think Zach may be Min's father. She doesn't say she killed my mom. She says directly looking in Zach's eyes, she killed mom. Yes, that is a really good point. Roderick said, I'm super hyped. I think this is gonna be so much more than we could ever ask. And I also love that the dinosaurs are back and Rita looks really scary. They did a much better job than I could have ever hoped for. Dang. Also, it looks like it's going to be more mature than the last couple of seasons. Finally, this has to become a mini series and connect to Cosmic Fury. I agree, bro, 100%. I hope that it does connect with Cosmic Fury. It would make a lot of sense and it'd be a missed opportunity if you had Lord Zed and Cosmic Fury and Robo Rita and they didn't connect those two. And I actually learned something yesterday Alpha had a screen popped up called the Bandora Protocol, and I didn't know this, but it is a nod to Jew Rangers, and Rita's name was actually Bandora in the Japanese version, so I thought that was super cool that they did an ode to the Super Sentai. Jmar said, I'm so excited about everything, and the trailer looks great, and it was worth the wait. I like the fact that this special is HD and basically advanced everything. I agree, it looks flame. Prodigies 2.0 said, I just saw the trailer last night. I knew it was gonna be epic, just like old times. Yes, it is amazing. Byron said, once and always is gonna be dope AF. Yes, it is, man. It's gonna be crazy. Shout out Byron. Johnny said, I just saw the trailer this morning and it is fire. I agree, bro. I'm so hyped up. Living Water Ministry says, I'm definitely super hyped up. I think everybody is, Rapture said. It looks so much fun. 
Tyler said, not going to lie, my wife almost didn't let me watch the trailer. We are both so excited for the special, and she doesn't want to be spoiled. I had to practically beg her. She caved. There wasn't anything that was given away, but dude, was it awesome. Oh, it was so freaking dope, man. Shout out the whole crew over there. They're putting together some really good projects. Hordak said, this has me exciting. Cameron says, dude, I am pumped. Mario Kart Gamer said, can't believe they actually used the word kill instead of destroy. I like that. I like that too. I thought it was a really fun touch. The Legacy of Nerd said, that was crazy. Thanks for dropping in on the live interview with Karen Ashley. Yo, anytime. The Legacy of Nerd had a live stream with Karen Ashley and I was watching it. And then she said, the trailer's coming out in two days. And I'm like, yo, that's news. I'm going to make a video about that right now. So I got a whole ass video done. Like, eight minute video i'm about to put it on youtube and then i'm hit with the news that a trailer dropped so i just basically made a whole video to just throw it away but it happens sometimes news changes uh so it's crazy but you know in a matter of like an hour it went from no trailer to had no idea to it's being told two days to it's out it was crazy how that all worked but i'm all here for it one question I did want to ask you fans is what in the heck happened with like the nine or 10 o'clock release? Like, is this the second time in a row that we've had a trailer? Like, didn't Dino Fury have a trailer that premiered in the middle of the night? Like, what's going on over there? Like, this is the only brand that I can think of that has trailers drop late as hell. Like you would think you would move it up earlier in the day. I don't know how it goes with that. Maybe are they trying to get the international market first? I have no idea, but what are your thoughts on that? I actually do not know. Christopher said, and this is why you're going to go far. You are on point as soon as the latest is released. I think you were before anyone. Dude, we try. I try to be consistent. I really put a lot of time and energy into this. So if we're going to do it, we're going to do it right. And we're going to come correct. The G factor said, was that TJ's voice in a fight scene? I heard interesting. I didn't hear his voice, but did you guys, am I missing something? Jimmy said, it's weird hearing the word kill in Power Rangers. Yo, I agree. It is a little different, but at the same time, these are older rangers they're not little kids anymore so yes i think using the kill word would make more sense oh no it's crash said heck yeah thank you for the video yo thank you guys you guys are the real mvps and the reason why we can continue to push out content like this thank you guys so much for the support we couldn't do this without you we will have more content tomorrow but have a good day guys thanks for watching we'll see you next time peace i want to give a special shout out to the gold ranger members anime king nick chaos draco the arctic operator thomas franco tim rage the voiceless one and let's talk sports thank you guys so much for your support if you want shout outs at the end of my videos like this one sign up to be a member today thanks for watching this video if you like this content you know what to do hit that like hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell you can also become a member please join the fan club support team right now we have a blue ranger power up and a gold ranger power up this is an awesome way to talk with the fans, join a fan club official chat group. You can also be featured in our videos. At the end of the videos, I will shout you out. That's if you get the Gold Ranger Power Up membership. Go check it out. Go support the fan club. We love you guys, and thanks for watching. Peace.